Recently we saw hundreds of people flocking a mall in Kerala. No, it was not an iPhone launch. It was a Lulu hypermarket in Kerala when they announced a midnight bargain sale to revive nightlife shopping in the state. Lulu, though started by an Indian, began from UAE and today is spread across the world. It took a while for it to reach India now. Let us know about this chain, the founder of this chain and how exactly did it come to India. But before that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, press the subscribe button and of course, hit the bell icon. Lulu Groups International was founded in the year 2000 by M.A. Yusuf Ali who belonged to the Trishur district in Kerala. The man got a diploma in business administration from Gujarat and moved to Abu Dhabi. Here, he joined his uncle's business and learned the concept of wholesale and retail in foreign markets. Even before supermarkets became a thing in the year 2000, Yusuf had a framework ready by 1995. In a year or two, he launched his first supermarket. Little did he know that his idea will revolutionize the retail sector with the traditional groceries and supermarkets yielding place to a large neighborhood stores and hypermarkets. Yusuf Ali took charge of Abu Dhabi's retail sector by rolling out the famous Lulu hypermarket, which became a brand name and a benchmark. Mainly operating in the Middle East, Lulu Groups International is one of the largest retail chains in Asia and around the world with more than 215 outlets in GCC countries. Besides, it's known for having the most diverse workforce which accounts to about 57,000 people from about 40 nations. A recent research from Deloitte placed Lulu among the world's 50 fastest growing retailers. This venture has emerged to be one of the most successful global corporations to have come out of our country, India. The annual turnover of the company is about $7.5 billion and the group employs a huge number of Indians outside the country. Yusuf Ali now wanted to move to India. Here he started his venture in the year 2006 when he got the Lulu Convention Center in Trishur, Kerala. It was in the year 2013 that the Kochi outlet of the Lulu hypermarket became functional, becoming the largest shopping mall in India. The Trivandrum outlet has become the second biggest shopping mall after the Kochi outlet. It was inaugurated by Pinarayi Vijayan, the CM of Kerala and the famous actor Mamuti. The new Lulu outlet in India opened in the city of Bengaluru, wherein it is located on a 14 acres property in the Rajasinagar area. It has been functional since October 2021. The entire property includes duplex penthouses and about 350 luxury apartments. The four-story space has about 140 national and international brands which includes multi-cuisine restaurants and multi-screen cinema halls. On July 11th, Lulu opened a new mall in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh with an investment of about 2,000 crore rupees, directly and indirectly employing 15,000 people of Uttar Pradesh. The group also plans to build a mall in the city of Kolkata soon. In Jan 2022, the Lulu Group signed an MOU with the Jammu and Kashmir government that pledged an investment of rupees 200 crores to set up a food processing and a logistic hub in Srinagar. In December 2021, the Lulu Group announced an investment of rupees 2000 crores to set up a modern shopping mall near Ahmedabad. It also announced an investment in Greater Noida as well. M.A. Yusuf Ali is not a common businessman. He holds stakes in Catholic Syrian Bank, Federal Bank, Dhanalakshmi Bank and several others. He also came to the headlines when he purchased the Scotland Yard building in London. The Lulu Bolgatti International Convention Centre on the Bolgatti Island is one of the largest convention centres in South Asia. In 2019, he started his second shopping mall in India at Trishur in Kerala called the Y Mall. He is known for his social, charitable and humanitarian activities where he has donated money as a part of his CSR policy to those who suffered from natural disasters like Gujarat earthquake, tsunami, typhoon and others. The Lulu Group joined hand with Dubai Cares and adopted schools in Gaza and Nepal. He also donated a sum of Rs 9.5 crores for the relief and rehabilitation of Kerala flood victims in the year 2018 and of course in the year 2019. The Lulu Group also took initiative to sell and promote organic food products grown by special needs community across UAE through their hypermarkets. Now that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more such content ahead. And if you have something to share with us, don't forget to write us in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.